beating three two hundred meter races so far this season. You got quicker with everyone. How confident are you now going into the Euros? That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's all about consistency and. Uh, my, my race has really set me up for um, what's coming up at the Euros, so I feel confident where I am at the moment and um, the task at Europeans is to deliver a performance. I don't really chase things like medals or times because I know what, what's in my system and I'm, I'm doing some great sessions on the track here. Uh, I'm laying down the, the foundations for not just the Europeans but for, for the Worlds and the Paralympics of so the bigger picture. But it's important to have that have a, a great home performance because the support we've had over the last two or three years with the with obviously the, the Commonwealths, the Paralympics, the Worlds previously, it's important to, to give those performances back to the public. It's in Great Britain, a lot of my competitors are from Wales and I know how patriotic they are. So as gold medalists it's important to deliver a performance on home soil. And you'll be going into the races the defending champion. How much pressure does that put on you and how much of that pressure do you put on yourself? <laughs> yeah it's more of pressure for myself really um, um, individual pressure um, it's it, it's a difficult question to ask uh, answer sorry um, in respect that I I hold all the titles anyway I've, in, in London 2012 I raced in front of 80,000 people in one of the biggest races of my life so racing at Swansea there's not a massive amount of pressure apart from the pressure that I put on myself to become successful and what I feel success is to me and British Athletics and what success is to them. Obviously they want me to come away with a gold medal and so do I but for me it's about that kind of the effort level that I put into um, that race. It needs to um, replicate the, the funding support that I've had from British Athletics but also the support of my team Liz Yelling, Keith Anton and uh, Tim Stevenson. And European Championships have been withdrawn from the calendar between 2005 to 2012. How much of a disappointment was that for the sport and how good is it now that it's been reinstated and it's back for the second time? Yeah, it's, it is a bit disappointing that obviously major championships are withdrawn from the, the calendar and I, I think that, that creates uh, the, a void for uh, for Europe really. But Europe as a, um, as a group of countries is very strong in athletics but I think that's uh, through national governing body support and sponsorship support like obviously what we've had is through British Athletics. Um, also uh, we miss out with those opportunities to participate at a high level and uh, we thrive on those also it, it creates that profile that we we want as, uh, as, as athletes not just Paralympic athletes and um, and hopefully this this continues with uh, the success of um, Swansea. And on and off the track you like to put a lot of attention to the fact that barriers are there to be broken. How important is another home multinational championship? How important is that to provide another platform to kind of showcase that? Yeah, platforms are really important for people to, to shine and um, for me it's important that the, the Welsh, Welsh athletes do that so that um, that can um, go into their communities and inspire people in Wales but also the same for myself as a, as a great British athlete for, for people to see my, um, my success on the track and um, get those messages out, those positive messages, messages out through sport. The power of sports are a, a really important tool that breaks down a lot of social barriers and, and that's what I found whether it's running on the track or running from Land's End to John O'Groats or, or diving off diving boards. And you'll be competing in the St. Bees Grand Prix final after Swansea. How important is it to finish the season on high after your disqualification last year there? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah obviously like you say it's um, it's interesting because I've raced at, at Birmingham a couple of times since and I always think think back to um, I should be disqualified at, at, at Birmingham and it's it, it doesn't really get on top of me it doesn't really affect me it's just part and parcel of obviously being an athlete and you just have to you just have to cross that 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 race off and then just move on it's uh, with every success there's failures and but you always learn more from from the failures and the success and for, for me it it basically taught me a lot about myself and how I handle those situations and I thought I did okay. Um, it's disappointing for obviously the fans that pay pay their, their entrance fee to see me race and then I, I get two or three metres because I'm disqualified. But that's part and parcel of, 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 of athletics and because there's only a one, one full start rule, uh, you have to be super safe on your starts. We've worked on that and um, we've got a, a method that, that prevents me from hopefully doing that in the future. But yeah, it's important to finish offshore on a high.